ready when the decision was made? Well, almost. <laughs> we had to be very creative and we had to improvise. And they did very well. This was their first attempt at marching down steps. And I'd like to give them a nice round of applause as they were wonderful.
As lately we have felt our chain mail a little too tight around the waist, and our thrones have become too small for us to sit in. Camelot, too, has grown older. The tower is leaning and the moat has run dry. In fact, they are now building a new one down the street, and we will be the last who have spent all four of our years in this old structure. We know that we are off to free our own swords from our own stones, and can't wait to explore the world outside this realm. But as the sun sets on our time here at Marshwood, and we board our steeds to ride into the future, it's impossible not to glance back over our shoulders, look at the aging castle, and think, if just for a moment, man, she looks beautiful from here. Good luck on Pass 98.
is being awarded to Cassandra Dukevich.
Congratulations, Neil. Kendra just hit me if I get going too fast. Next, we have Caitlin Bergendahl. Caitlin will be attending the University of New England. She is the recipient of the University of New England grant for $500. Congratulations, Caitlin. Patrick Perry. Pat will be attending George Washington University. He is the recipient of George Washington University Presidential Academic Scholarship for $15,000. The South Berwick Rotary Academic Scholarship for $1,000. Congratulations, Pat. Adam Beth. Adam will be attending East Coast Aero Technical College. He is the recipient of the Edward C. Lozier Memorial Vocational Scholarship for $125. Congratulations, Adam. <laughs> Scott Bowden. Scott will be attending Southern Maine Technical College. He's a recipient of the Robert Gould Scholarship for $250, the John F. Hill Grange, number 393 of Elliott for $250. Congratulations, Scott. <laughs> Amy Caswell. Amy will be attending the University of Maine Farmington. She is the recipient of the Marshwood Football Booster Scholarship for $250. Congratulations, Amy. <laughs> Stephanie Crystal. Stephanie will be attending Smith College. She is the recipient of the Richard Gagnon Scholarship for $500. Congratulations, Stephanie. <laughs> Jason DeWolf. Jason will be attending the University of New Hampshire. He is the recipient of the University of New Hampshire Scholarship for $2,000. The University of New Hampshire grant for $1,100. Congratulations, Jason. Jennifer Deven Senzo will be attending the University of Maine Farmington. She is the recipient of the Linwood Sadler Scholarship for $200. Congratulations, Jennifer. <laughs> Laney Dunn. Laney will be attending Bradford College. She is the recipient of the Bradford College Arts Scholarship for $5,000. The Bradford College grant for $10,400. Congratulations, Lane. <laughs> Tiffany Dukevich. Tiffany will be attending Worcester State College. She is a recipient of the Elliott High School Alumni Scholarship for $300. Congratulations, Tiffany. <laughs> Diane Easter. Diane will be attending Norwich University. She is the recipient of the Norwich University grant for $6,000. Congratulations, Diane. <laughs> Michael Eastman. Michael will be attending the University of Minnesota. He is the recipient of the National Service Scholarship for $1,000 and the Marshwood High School Principals Award for $200. Congratulations, Michael. Anna Eckes. Anna will be attending the University of Missouri, Kansas City. She is the recipient of the National Honor Society Scholarship for $200. The University of Missouri Chancellor Scholar Award for $1,500. And the University of Missouri Scholarship Music Scholarship, which is a five-year scholarship at $9,000 a year for $45,000. Aaron Gardner will be attending.
$100,000 and the Nyack College Presidential Grant for $2,000. Congratulations, Aaron. Emily Goodnow will be attending Endicott College. She is the recipient of the Endicott College Grant for $1,000, the First Congregation Church Women's Fellowship Scholarship for $300, the Presidential Merit Scholarship for $4,000 a year for a total value of $16,000. And there's more. She's a recipient of the Elliott High School Memorial Scholarship for $300 and the Nancy Boyce Realtor Scholarship for $500. Congratulations. <laughs> Douglas Greed will be attending the University of Maine, Orono. She's a recipient of the Maine Student Incentive Scholarship for $500 and the University of Maine grant for $1,550. Congratulations, Doug. <laughs> Michelle Griffin. Michelle will be attending the University of Maine Farmington. She is a recipient of the Maine Student and Center Scholarship for $500 and the University of Maine Scholarship for $2,000. Congratulations, Michelle. Seth Arnold. Seth will be attending Bowdoin College. He is a recipient of the Marshwood Basketball Boosters Scholarship for $150. The Ocean National Bank Scholarship for $1,000. The Epsilon Chapter of Alpha Delta Kappa Sorority Scholarship for $500. The South Berwick Strawberry Festival Annual Scholarship for $1,000. The Maine Masonic Scholarship for $500, and the Kiwanis Club of the Seacoast, Joanne Susan Engelman Memorial Scholarship for $500. Congratulations, Seth. <laughs> Gerald Barnock will be attending McGill University. He is the recipient of the Marshall High School Principals Award for $200. Congratulations, Joe. <laughs> Rebecca Lee. Rebecca will be attending University of New Hampshire. She is the recipient of the University of New Hampshire Scholarship for $650. Congratulations, Rebecca. <laughs> Brandon Lemke. Brandon will be attending Rochester Institute of Technology. He's the recipient of the Brian Beckner Memorial Scholarship for $300. Congratulations, Brandon. <laughs> Samantha Lott. Samantha will be attending the University of Maine at Orono. She is the recipient of the Maine Scholars Achievement Scholarship for $1,000. The University of Maine Top Scholar Full Tuition Award for $3,870. The Robert C. Byrd Honors Scholarship for $1,500. The National Honor Society Scholarship for $500. The 1998 International Federation of Professional and Technical Engineers Scholarship for $1,500 and the United Methodist Church of Elliott Student Scholarship for $200. Congratulations, Sam. <laughs> Kimberly Wolsey will be attending McIntosh College and is a recipient of the Kennebunk, excuse me, Kennebunk Savings Bank Scholarship for $1,000. Congratulations, Kimberly. Brian Maine. Brian will be attending Indiana University at Wilmington. He is the recipient of the Indiana University Faculty Award for $1,500, the Indiana University Grant for $2,000. Congratulations, Brian. <laughs> Julie Martell. 
recipient of the South Berwick Strawberry Festival Annual Scholarship for $1,000. Congratulations, Julie. Scott McKinney. Scott will be attending Worcester Polytechnic Institute. He is the recipient of the Worcester Polytechnic Institute Scholarship for $6,290 and the Elliott Lions Club Scholarship for $300. Congratulations, Scott. <laughs> Allison Muir. Allison is the recipient of the Kenneth Finney Scholarship for $250. Congratulations, Allison. Kay Miller. Kay will be attending the University of Maine at Arnold. Kay is a recipient of Marshwood High School Principals Award for $200. Congratulations, Kay. <laughs> Jamie Morell. Jamie will be attending the University of Maine Farmington. He is a recipient of the Compedian Education Association Scholarship for $300. Congratulations, Jamie. <laughs> Louise Mullins. Louise will be attending Northeastern University. She is the recipient of the Elliott American Legion Scholarship for $250 and the Northeastern University grant for $10,740. Congratulations, Louise. Jonathan Nolan. John will be attending the University of Maine Farmington. He is the recipient of the Marshall Basketball Booster Scholarship for $200 and the Lenwood Sadler Memorial Scholarship for $200. Congratulations, John. <laughs> Amanda Parody. Amanda will be attending the University of Maine Farmington. She will be the recipient of the Teachers for Maine program grant of $3,000 and the Maine Student Center Scholarship for $1,000. Congratulations, Amanda. <laughs> Melissa Parker. Melissa will be attending University of Massachusetts Amherst. She's the recipient of the University of Massachusetts Amherst Campus Grant of $1,156. The York County Bar Association Scholarship of $150 and the National Honor Society Scholarship of $300. Congratulations, Melissa. <laughs> Kimberly Peterson. Kim will be attending Northeastern University. She is the recipient of the Owen Zamarki Memorial Scholarship of $100 Kevin Currier Memorial Scholarship of $150. Congratulations, Kevin. <laughs> Miranda Pycott. Miranda will be attending Brigham Young University. She is the recipient of the Abbott Scottish Rite Scholarship for $1,000. The Quota Club Scholarship for $150. The Brigham Young University Pete and Arlene Harmon Scholarship for $1,000. Congratulations, Miranda. <laughs> Selena Pycott. Selena will be attending Hudson College. She is the recipient of the Maine Student Incentive Scholarship of $1,000. The Abbott Scottish Rite Scholarship of $1,000 and the Hudson College Grant for $2,000. Congratulations, Selena. <laughs> Bryce Raymond. Bryce will be attending the University of Hartford. He is a recipient of the University of Hartford Alumni Grant at $4,000 a year for a total value of $16,000. Congratulations, Bryce. <laughs> Catherine Sheffield. Catherine will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst. She is a recipient of the University of Massachusetts Amherst.
campus grant of $1,383 and the recipient of the Marshfield High School Principals Award for $200. Congratulations. <laughs> Colby Smith. Colby will, will be attending Swarthmore College. He is the recipient of the Swarthmore College Scholarship of $5,830 and the Marshwood High School Principals Award for $200. Congratulations. <laughs> Kevin Spinning. Kevin will be attending Boston University. He is the recipient of the Jolly John Audible City Scholarship for $250. Congratulations, Kevin. Holly Spofford. Holly will be attending Emerson College. She is a recipient of the Elliott Baha'i Community Scholarship for $200. Congratulations, Holly. <laughs> Shallon Sullivan. Shallon will be attending the University of Maine Ornell. She is a recipient of the University of Maine grant for $1,000, $1,050, the Maine Student Incentive Scholarship for $500, the United Methodist Church of Elliott Student Scholarship for $200, the Roper Bagleville Memorial Scholarship for $150, the New England Conference Scholarship for $275, and the Marshall Music Booster Scholarship for $300. Congratulations, Sean. <laughs> Joel Wagner. Joel will be attending Green Mountain College. He is the recipient of the Green Mountain College grant for $4,605. The Green Mountain College Trustee Scholarship for $4,008. Green Mountain College Leadership Scholarship for $450. Congratulations, Joel. <laughs> Seth Warren. Seth will be attending the University of Maine Ornell. He is the recipient of the Theodore A. Libby Memorial Scholarship for $500. Congratulations, Seth. <laughs> Andrew Wright. Andrew will be attending New Hampton School. He's the recipient of the Marshall Football Booster Scholarship for $250. Congratulations, Andrew.
face is blind from long lectures, and a face is alight after passionate debates. They would tell the stories of the past four years of our lives. What if our towns had voted for a new school sooner? Our stories would not be complete. They would either remain unfinished or begin in the middle. While creating new opportunities, March of 2000 changed the experiences. Just because the new school will open after we have left doesn't mean we have lost out. Now we can say that we are the last class to have spent four uninterrupted years at and to graduate from the old Marshall. Questioning extends far beyond high school, place, and time. What if no one ever questioned authority and debated those in power for their rights? The United States would still be a British colony. African Americans would lack civil rights. Smart, strong women wouldn't be allowed to vote, let alone shine in professions of their choice in contemporary society. The revolutions of our country and of the world would be non-existent. Equality and justice would be words without meaning, for society depends on revolutionary what-ifs. Our individual lives also need what-ifs, despite the distraction and apprehension the questions cause. They make us think hard about our lives, ponder our choices and actions, and teach us that questioning is a powerful tool for change and for stimulating the imagination. In the classroom, teachers encourage questions, and we use this concept in our lives. What if I had tried harder? What if I had left an hour earlier? Would my life be completely different? These are unanswerable questions because they are in the past. The clocks cannot be turned back. But the consequences of these decisions we have made can be assessed and applied to future choices. Dr. Seuss once rhymed, you will come to a place where the streets are not marked, some windows are lighted, but most of them are dark. A place you could spring with your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you'll find. For a mind maker of to make up his mind. Decisions must be made. Unfortunately, it's an inevitable fact. Some decisions are easy and are taken for granted such as what to wear, where to eat, and what to watch on TV. Others are quite distressing and drive us crazy. It seems our lives hang in the balance and our future is determined solely on one decision, such as where to go to college. Even an informed, logical decision can be second-guessed by the heart. What seems a simple choice, black or white, yes or no, here or there, becomes agonizing when filled with what ifs. What ifs about the future are frightening because they extend beyond the sphere of the known and of the secure. They often expect the worst and are asked for the negative. What if I wasn't supposed to go there? What if I don't succeed? Perhaps the, our doubts about success can be alleviated in considering what Ralph Waldo Emerson has to say in his poem, Success. Success is to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends. To appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To know that even one life has proved easier because you lived, this is to have succeeded. There is no question that we're all on a successful path, for no matter which way we choose or how many times we look back, we don't travel alone. We travel with what our parents and teachers have taught us, with what we have learned from them, to help others, to love, to experience, to care, and to ask the right questions. program is the Marshall High School Jazz Ensemble. We played a little bit earlier tonight. I'm going to play again right now. I'd like to thank the class of 1998 seniors for allowing us to perform tonight for you. We wish you all the best of good health, happiness, and all the success in the world to you in your future endeavors. This is an old Carlos Santana tune entitled Oye Como Va, and I'm going to tell you that I know we have a lot of people here tonight, but if you'd like to take a moment and stand and stretch, even while we're playing, that's okay. This is a pretty raucous, up and, and rowdy kind of tune. If you want to take a minute and stretch, I think that would probably be okay with all of us.
I do want to tell you who's soloing and who our seniors are this evening. Uh, we'd like to recognize our seniors in the jazz band. They are Peter Clark on guitar, who will also be featured in this tune as a soloist. Dan Levitt on drums. Brian Spinney on drums. Shalyn Sullivan on vibes. Selena Picot on baritone saxophone. Zach Lemire on maracas, way in the back. And I uh, would also like to recognize some former alumni that are joining us tonight to play, as well as some up and coming Marshwood students for next year, as well as our regular cast and crew of our award winning jazz ensemble. So if you want to stand up and stretch for a minute while we get everything ready to go, and even while, you're pl while we're playing, if you want to stretch and jibber jabber a little bit, that's okay, because I think these guys will get your attention just fine. So here we go. <laughs>
our superintendent of schools, Mr. Wesley Kennedy.
Step it up. Amy Bartlett. Brandon Lemke.
Shallot Katrina Sullivan. Aaron Maureen Pratt.
Marie Muir. I bet you couldn't tell she's a dancer. Michael Jared Whalen.
Rebecca Elizabeth Lee.
school, and as every parent knows, the golden rule of procrastination is always the key to every student's success. I'm sure that all of our fellow classmates will agree that whether it's mowing the lawn or calculating the eccentricity of mercury, the last minute is always the best time to get things done. So we labor through the night recklessly, just as we would for a skippy cousin's research paper due early the next morning. We brainstormed, we pondered, we sampled, we edited, and hopefully what we have come up with is suitable in representing the dignified group of individuals sitting before you today. Looking back on the past seven years that we have all spent together, many of the memories have faded, but some will never be relinquished. Who remembers the time when Mary Miller fell in the Santa Falls River during our eighth grade field trip to the Hamilton House? What about Mr. Zamarki falling asleep on the New York West Ride with his mouth wide enough to drive a truck, truck through the gaping jaws? <laughs> or the egg warfare across the gym between our timid sophomore class and the rowdy junior class at homecoming two years ago? It's no real surprise that homecoming is no longer held in the gym. I, for one, was puffed square in the chest, and no longer do I own that white polo shirt. Oh, and don't forget the time when Seth took a fresh frog's leg from Mrs. Keevan's biology class and presented it to his mother in his lunch Tupperware. <laughs> and one mystery that may never be resolved is the puzzling case of the suspicious garbage dumped from rock to rock to rock. While many of these reflections are comic examples of the bond that we now share as Marshall alumni, we must also pay homage to the experiences that have always held a special place in our hearts. The picturesque view of the Statue of Liberty rising before a dim red sunset from the silent shores of Governor's Island will always be ingrained in the minds of all who witness it. The encouraging cheer of the crowd as the football team makes one final drive toward the end zone on a crisp autumn day will echo in the, self, in the souls of all sports fans. The feeling of hog pride when gazing at the countless purple banners draping over the walls will always bring back the mystique and tradition of our hallowed gymnasium. And finally, the communion that best exemplifies the true spirit and passion of our class was the coming together to help Tarnie Hussey share today's commencement with us all. Through our tri triumphs and our failings, and together or alone, we have all in some fashion experienced a journey that can never be duplicated by another person. Now we are forced to continue on this pathway with no parents to feed us dinner, no mothers to throw the whites in the wash, and no fathers to ask us how our day was. We will now venture into a whole new world that isn't always safe and secure. The shock of leaving home and seeking our own destinations may be overwhelming at first, but not to worry. For the past four years, a hawk has soared high above the school watching us all grow. As we now move towards a different world, times will be rough, much like they were in high school, but the hawk will always be watching us. His visions for our success have been foretold through our education, and it is now our turn to thank him and put our wisdom to use. Now comes the hardest part of all, saying goodbye. Before you toss your caps high into the air, think for one moment about how great it's been experiencing these years together. Our final word of advice to all of you is this. Be strong, be true, be wise, be honorable, be proud. Because as all of you already know, it's all in the attitude. We love, love you, you, class of 